What up, though, homies and homies? It's your homeboy, Grand Tizzle. Welcome back to the lab. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscription button and that notification bell, because you're going to like what we got going on over here. In the previous tutorial, I showed you my approach to the neon light effect. In this tutorial, we're going to use molds to spill light on the face. A real simple technique, but you can use this in your arsenal. Without further ado, let's get it cracking. Okay fam, you may have saw the previous, um, I have two, actually two tutorials showing you how to do this, but the reason why I came up with this one is because this is a much more efficient way of doing it, um, it's faster and it gives you way more versatility and you'll see what I mean uh, very shortly. So the first thing you want to do is you want to want to, I took these diamonds here. Now the reason why I use these diamonds is because the um, the way they're operating, the way the light is hitting on it, uh, you know, the effects or whatever, it already it's already doing what it needs to do to look like real diamonds. I mean, obviously these are zirconians or whatever, but um, I don't think diamonds would be sold on a string like that. But you get the picture, you get the point. You want to use something that already where the light is, um, you know, bouncing off of it and doing all of its thing uh already so with that being said i created a plate out of this so what you want to do is i'm gonna open up this plate and we have diamond plate two here we got diamond plate one i'm gonna do another tutorial on that uh, later um but you want to i created this plate out of um out of this because it looked more realistic so what you want to do is you want to go to edit and you want to define that plate as a pattern so we're going to call this plate um three and um diamond plate three so this is a pattern we hit okay so now photoshop just created this pattern for me so the benefits of that is that now i can add it when i go to create a layer style so let's do that let's go create a layer style let's go to pattern overlay and bam it already added the pattern there for me sheesh but if you hit here you'll see that we can have some trees in it, we can have some grass, we can have some water, you know what I mean? If you know what you're doing, you can make a beautiful water thing, you know what I'm saying? But I probably had to teach you how to do that. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and select the, a pattern. Now, the benefits of having the pattern inside of here is now we can adjust the size, right? Um, the way I like to do it, and for, for it to look more realistic for me, I like to adjust the size according to the size of the font and we're, we'll talk about that later on so this particular size font the size uh 38 in the you know somewhere between 37 and 40 looks best in my opinion so i'm going to stick with that the other things you want to do is because right now we we're halfway there this is half the battle the other things you want to do is add a stroke because we're going to add some um size around this might as well go ahead and make that gray, but that's gonna change up. And then you want to uh, add a bevel. All right, so now we're almost there, right? Now, but it still don't look real, not yet, right? We're gonna put the contour on there, but we'll work with that later. Let's go back up here and kind of uh, feel our way around here. So um, we wanna make this a little bigger, a little bit more realistic. So as we make our adjustments, you really wanna pay attention to this corner here because that's where we're gonna see how our design is going to turn out. So we're gonna adjust the depth here and um, I'm going to move it to around 178 and um, we want this to be an outer bevel. That's right, the chisel heart, that's cool. Uh, we wanna change our size to about uh, somewhere in this 20s. Okay, maybe maybe that's too big, but you see how it popped up over here. So we can actually see what's happening here. So let's uh, maybe drop this down to about 21. We also keep an eye over here, see what's happening here. And um, that seems to be good. Let's go ahead and uh, knock our soften down to zero for now. Uh, let's go ahead and rotate our light. And I'm going to push it. So when we rotate our light, we want to look over here and on here to see how things work out. I'm going to keep it at one, um, 107 for now. 
and let's put the uh, altitude up to like uh, 30, 33 or something like that. And let's go ahead and put our gloss couture on there. We could try this one. That looks okay. Uh, let's try this one. That one look a little better. So we're gonna stick with this one. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with this one. And now let's, with, th with that being set up, let's go to our couture and um, we will twerk around with this a little bit. Yeah, see this is gonna add even more as you see here. I don't, maybe I can zoom in. As you see here, we got a little bit more shininess going on. So I'm gonna kind of finagle through the rest of them and see which one pops right for me. I'm kind of liking this one here. Let's put on anti-alias. Okay. And maybe our stroke, let's see. Maybe my stroke should be a little bigger here. Let's go down to stroke. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> maybe my stroke should be bigger. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got some dirty minds, man. And um, here, let's let's uh, blow that up a little bit. And we want to keep in mind that the image, the diamond image, is uh, it got some gold uh, encasing around it. So we want to let our rim be gold too, right? So let's go ahead and let my rug get on over here. Turn that gold, right? Now it's up to you how how gold you might want it. Uh, maybe too much, maybe too less. I don't know, but I'm gonna go ahead and kind of stick with something maybe like, maybe something like that. I think that's, uh, I think that might work out. All right, um, let's blow this size up a little bit. All right, that might be. Now, I wanna say something about when you're using these styles here, the size and different things like that is going to, the size you want to use is going to be based off of the size of the image and the size of the font. They, they can always change. So keep that in mind when you are, um, you know, doing your, doing your thug this one. All right, so let's see here. Let's pick some other ones. That's cool. That's cool. That's okay. Uh, all right, this is okay. I don't like the a a alias in there. Let's see. All right, that's kind of cool. That chisel hard might be, let me see, chisel soft. Yeah, let's soften it up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Now, the thing about it, you guys know, we can spend forever in a lifetime um, tweaking this right but that's the point you know it's up to you um, what you would like to do with it but this is the foundation this is the basic here so um, we can go over here and um, I can adjust the size of that right boom okay I'm kind of liking this a little bit I'm liking I'm liking a little smaller maybe let's see 36 let's see let's go one more uh, all right so 36 and that's cool and um I think this is it here. Let's see. Yeah, this is it. I ain't gonna make a big. Yep, I wanna make a big fuss out of it. Right? Here, that's cool right there, right? Now, so we have it. Now, this is a much easier way of getting a diamond effect. Now, what are the benefits of it doing it like this, T? Well, watch this. You can go in here, let's see. You can go in here, right? And you can change the font. Now, Photoshop been acting funky and slow when I go to the front. But look at that. Look at that. I mean, although you can't see everything. But look. See how that looks real. Right? It looks good. Do it not. Now, watch this. We can actually go and just here. We can select it and just scroll through different fronts and see what we come up with. And a lot of times when you... Look at that. Look at that. That look like a real um emblem. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. That look like you... That's like... um. Migos in them chain, you know. What I'm Matter of fact, here, look, watch this. That's the other benefit. Look, you could change it. Watch this. Migos, ha 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 ha. It looked like it's been made. Now, can nobody tell me? Now, listen. What something is going to happen when I adjust the size? You see how I adjust the size and also the font change? But look at that. Look at that. That looks good, right? All right. All right. And then we select it again, and then we go over here and have some fun and just change up the fonts. Yeah. 
hit the down arrow and just kind of swing through them. Look at that, look at that. I'm gonna stop right there. That looks beautiful and it took less than six minutes to do. And the benefits of that is that you could change the size, you could change the font, it looked realistic because it's real diamonds, real diamonds. And when you really want to pop it off and top it off, all you got to do is create a layer, go down to your Lanier Dodge, right? Go over to Google and ask Google for some lens flares. So hold on, lens flares, right? Let's get a lens flare. Uh, we're going to get an orange lens flare. Oh, actually, it could be any lens flare. You know why? Because we're trying to lens flare the diamonds. So what I'm going to do here is uh, we're just going to pick, like, let's say this one right here. Let's just copy that image. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Copy that. Right. And then, uh, oops, sorry about that. Here, get back. Go back. You're dripping. Hold on. All right, I had to get things back in order there. All right, and then uh, we can paste that that we just got. Look at that. It didn't already, it already screened it for me, look. And then we can just adjust the size and uh, put it anywhere, you know what I mean? Any race what don't belong. Here, I'm gonna hit enter, and then we're just gonna go in here and um, get to erasing some stuff. So let's see, erase that one, erase that. This don't make sense. And leave the rest there. And there you have it. There you have it. Perfectly um, perfect. It looks realistic. We got the rim around it. Again, you can spend a lot more time on the edges if you so well please. All right. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to sub, like, and hit that bell so you won't miss a beat of that heat that I bring to my lead. Till the next time. See you in a minute. See you when I spin it. Peace.